Hey guys, welcome back to Bass with Bryce. Today I will be showing you guys some of my favorite bass fishing soft plastics. Okay, so let's get started. First, I have a Yum Dinger. I got it black with blue flake, if you can see that right there. I really like these in the fall because the bass get really lazy and sometimes they just want a wacky style or I sometimes use a Texas rig too. So that one, I would suggest getting those in your tackle box. Next is the Stanley Why Not. I don't use these normally just like this. I usually add them as a trailer to my spinnerbait or a jig. So these are good. You should definitely check Stanley out. And then I have the Zoom Baby Bass Super Flukes. These are good. You can just give them a little bit of twitching and the bass will strike that hard. And another color I use is these super white salty flukes. These are pretty big, but they're pretty good for largemouth bass. Let's see. Next, I have the Super Salt Plus or Dead Ringer Green Pumpkin. Just like a little curly tail. It's almost like a ridge tail. A little bit smaller tail. Another one. I have another fluke that I like to use. The smoking Shad. It has blue flake. It's gray. All around. Good bait. And then again, I have a Stanley It's a Bug. This is more of a red flake color and green. They have a lot of action in the water. They're definitely good for large mouth and if you Texas rig them. I mentioned these in my last video. These are also pretty good. Baby Paca Green Pumpkin. I like Green Pumpkin a lot. I don't know why. It just seems good in the water. These also have a little hole right here to give out some bubbles. Next, just the original Gary Yamamoto Slim Senko Green Pumpkin, again. Pretty small, just a three and a half inch. Lastly, I have the Power Bait Fighting Bug. These are kind of like my other pack of craw that I had. Just a little bit different look to them. For the hook, I like to use these. Twist Lock. They're really good because I can Texas rig them very easily. So they don't get snagged up in this river that we're fishing at. There's a lot of rocks and weeds and stuff like that down on the ground. And then also, I like to use for my scents, I have these three. First one, pack of craw, crawfish color. Crawfish bait it has crawfish color and crawfish smell. Made with real crawfish actually. Then another classic bass spray. And lastly, the uh, just normal Lunker Lotion. Thank you guys. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.